Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey. Uh, we have an HP laptop here today. We're going to show you how to address the blue screen error. Um, when we say blue screen error, we mean actually the physical blue screen of death uh, that, that comes on that everybody hates. Um, you could get multiple error messages too, multiple error codes, or you could get stuck in that loading screen. But we're going to refer to all those as uh, the, the blue screen uh, because we're doing them all in this video. Uh, now, real quick, this can be caused by an overheating computer sometimes. So if you feel your computer and it's really hot, um, if underneath is really hot and, and, and you think that may be why you're getting this, go to video one in the description. That's our overheating laptop fix video. That'll show you how to address that. Um, but it's good to know that the, the blue screen error can sometimes be caused by that. Uh, Again, always check out our related videos. Always check out our frequently asked questions. They can help you out, save you time. If you need to ask a question that's not in there, leave a comment, and we try to get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, so the first thing to check for in an HP, HPs are nice. They have built-in diagnostic software. So we'll start your HP up. We'll start hitting F2. Uh, most HP computers, it's F2. If F2 doesn't work for you, um, Google your make and model, leave a note for us, leave a comment. Uh, it could be one of the other function keys. So this screen will come up, and this is what we're trying to access here, the, the, the diagnostic screen. You can see there's two options, a memory test, a hard drive check. You can scroll up and down with your arrows. Depending on what year computer you have, what model, you may see other options. You may see extensive check, quick check. Um, but these are the tests we want to run. You can run a memory test or a RAM uh, test, and you can do a hard drive check. Now you're going to want to run both of these tests to see if either one of these uh, are the reasons why your computer is messing up and giving you this blue screen error. Now assuming, so we'll take you through the various outcomes. If, if you run this test and it says that your RAM is bad, if it's saying if your memory test fails and your RAM is bad, let's show you how to address that. So we're going to take your computer and, and you're going to need to go inside. Usually there'll be screws along the outside edge, maybe a couple in the middle. Be careful of these rubber feet. Sometimes they hide screws under there. This is an easy HP. Uh, I, I just have a lock on top and it comes right out. Uh, but if, if it says that your RAM is bad, you're going to go inside your computer and you're going to access your RAM. These are two RAM sticks I have in here. The first thing you want to do, make sure they're in there flush and secure. Sometimes they can get jostled out or maybe they weren't put in securely to begin with. If you know what you're doing, you can tell if it's in there good by looking at it. If not, reseat it. What that means is you take them out. Um, they're held in by little spring-loaded arms. So you pull the arms away slightly and that releases the RAM. And then you just pull it out. And you would take them both out and then put them both back in. Get them snug, make sure they're in there right, and then snap them down. Uh, try the computer again. If that doesn't work, then that wasn't the issue. Then we're going to test to see if a RAM stick is bad. So in that case, take one of them out, start your computer up, see if it works. If you're still getting, if, if it does work, you know that this stick is bad. Uh, and then you would replace it. If you do need to replace a RAM stick, check out video two in our description. Uh, that'll show you how to buy the right kind of RAM. Not all RAM is compatible with all computers. And there's a lot of numbers on here to figure out which ones matter. Uh, so video two in the description helps you with that. If your computer still is giving you the error, put this RAM stick back, take this one out, and then start your computer, see if it works. So uh, that's the way you would test to see if, if a RAM stick is bad. If it gave you a hard drive error, um, if it gave you a hard drive error on your computer saying that it, it couldn't read the hard drive, uh, no hard drive found, uh, try reseating your hard drive. This is your hard drive over here, right there. This is your hard drive. Um, in, in my computer, I have to remove my battery to get at it. But this is your hard drive. They're usually found in a hard drive caddy. That's either a metal or, or plastic holder uh, that screws into the hard drive and then screws into the computer to hold it secure. Um, you would want to remove your hard drive. Um, and then plug it back in, same like we did with the RAM. Make sure that it's secure and in there the way that it should be. Try restarting your computer. If you're getting the same error 
um, you would most likely need a new hard drive at that point. If it's in there securely and it's saying hard drive not found, it means your hard drive is bad. Um, so don't freak out if your hard drive or your RAM is bad. Um, generally speaking, they're very cheap components. And if you want to drop a few extra bucks, it's a good opportunity uh, to upgrade uh, your computer for not a lot of money if you're going to be in there anyway. So that's how you would fix the error if you're getting errors on your hard drive or your RAM using that HP diagnostic tool, which is one of the reasons why some people love HP, is that it comes with that. If it's not coming up with any errors, then hard drive is not your issue. We're going to go into BIOS now to try to change a, a setting in BIOS that could be causing this. So we're going to turn the computer on again, but this time start tapping on the escape key. This will access our BIOS. Now, your computer, again, may be different. If the escape key doesn't work, uh, Google your exact model, leave a comment for us, we'll help you out. Uh, but we want to get into BIOS. So this is the setup menu that we got. Uh, you can scroll up and down with your arrow key. Yours may look different, but what we're looking for is BIOS. Down here it says F10 BIOS setup. So that's what I want. I can hit F10 or I can hit enter. Uh, but you're looking for BIOS. So we'll hit enter. Okay, so now we're in BIOS. You want to look for the system date and time. So I have three tabs, main security advanced. I can go back and forth with my arrows. So I don't see date and time here. I'm going to arrow over to the right. I don't see date and time in security. It's, it's usually not. Arrow to the right. Ah, system date and time. That's what you're looking for. Again, yours may look different. Not all BIOS are the same, but you're looking for the BIOS and then you're looking for date and time. So arrow down, date and time, hit enter. So this is where your date and time is. Um, mine right now is, is correct. 9-27-2019, you can uh, tab over. Um, you want to make sure your date and time are correct. This can cause that error that you're seeing. As a side note, if your date and time continues to not be correct, every time you start your computer, it may be a sign that your CMOS battery is, is dying. Uh, check out in the description uh, our video on how to do a BIOS update uh, that'll show you how to replace your CMOS battery. But if this is working um, and you restart your computer and you're still getting the same error, let's get out of here. We'll escape. So escaping out of here. If that's still not working um, and you're still getting this blue screen error after doing your diagnostic, after testing your your RAM and hard drive after making sure your date and time setting, then at this point it's most likely a corrupted operating system. So at this point you would check out the video down below, the uh, HP factory reset video. You would try to factory reset your computer and, and clean the operating system out. If that doesn't work, which means your operating system is very corrupt, then you're going to check out our other video under that on how to reinstall the operating system fresh. Um, and that'll help you through that. So we've taken you through all the causes, we've taken you through how to fix these things. The uh, video links in the description will take you further if you find you need help exploring any one of these avenues. Uh, if this helped you, please like and share. If you have any questions or comments, if you got stuck, if you need clarification, leave a comment. We'll help you out. And if you enjoy uh, do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.